This is Eddie Hearn, Matchroom Boxing. You are watching Sporting Icons. You don't need to be anywhere else. So Eddie Hearn has responded to the offer from Deontay Wilder. And what he's pretty much said here, and plus other things that, that I've come to learn, is that it was actually Deontay Wilder who sent the email. That's not the usual protocol at all. Okay, and on top of this, Wilder has given them 24 hours to accept. So is it a take it or leave it? No idea, but he's saying that it's a 24 hour accept it. So it is pretty much a take it or leave it. But he knows, and any logical person in the world knows, that's impossible. In the history of boxing, no fight has ever been made like that in a 24 hour period. It can't happen, especially going from an email that where nobody knows if if Wilder can actually get the 50 million. Maybe he's clowning, who knows? Maybe he's banking on Joshua going, well, no, I can't make that deadline because I need to know what, where's that money coming from? Do you have the money right now? Can you put it in an escrow? Okay. Because what we don't want to do is say, yeah, okay, no problem. And then the fine print is, well, if we can raise the money. No, we want to raise the money. Do you have the money or do you not? That's what they need to know. Um, also, there's no rematch clause. I don't know if that's going to be an issue at all. I imagine it probably would be a bit of an issue, but if there's no rematch clause, but there again, how much would Joshua make from a first fight and a rematch? Don't know. Really don't know. But of course, to get the rematch anyway, Wilder has to win the first fight, right? Wilder also gets to choose the location and when. And they're saying end of the year. So end of the year means, guess what? He's fighting Dominic Brazil next. So people get, best get used to it, like it or not. Um, this was predicted a long time ago that he wasn't serious about fighting Joshua next. But either way, listen, I'm not against that at all. Um, if, if anything, it probably makes more sense to have it at the end of the year. If they're guaranteeing Joshua 50 million, then at least you can kind of like maybe build the fight up to gain a bit more momentum rather than a three, four month period. Okay, at least then if you're going to have it in November or December, you've got from now until then to build it up, as in have a face-off after Wilder beats Brazil. Have a face-off after Joshua beats Povetkin. Of course, providing both these guys win. You know, um, have some press tours and things like that. So there's a lot of fine print that still needs to be done. First of all, it shouldn't have come from Wilder. It should have come from Al Heyman or Shelly Finkel or, or whatever. So again, that kind of makes me suspicious, very, very suspicious. And uh, to have no rematch, again, I don't know if that's gonna be an issue. Location that Wilder chooses, hey, listen, if his team are funding it and they're running the event, then of course, you know, they're entitled to do that. Personally, I would love it to be in the UK for a personal selfish reason. We've never had two champions coming together for Undisputed on British soil. So that's why I would like it, but is Wilder gonna do that? I will be super impressed if he chose London. To be perfectly honest, I really, really would. Also in this, they didn't say who was gonna be showing it, so what they can't do is say, well, Joshua, we're gonna show it on the UK. We have an agreement with BT Sport. Maybe BT Sport are gonna be funding a lot of this, right? Joshua can't fight on BT Sport. He's legally obligated to fight on Sky. So again, maybe this is like another little curveball that Team Wilder are throwing in. We don't know. We don't know. But Joshua needs to know 100%. Is this money legit? If this money is legit and they do have the money and they are going to put it into escrow, then for me, Joshua can't really say too much with the fact that he did say, give me 50 million and... No worries, I'll sign it tomorrow, which is pretty much what, what they're saying. So we're giving you 50 million, so you've got 24 hours. Okay, but guess what? You haven't given us 50 million. Does that make sense? You're saying you're gonna give us 50 million. Okay, so give me 50 million. Wire that over to me right now, and I'll sign. Have the fight wherever you want. Have it in Timbuktu. No rematch, whatever. So again, there are certain things. Um, I, I would imagine Wilder will probably be choosing Vegas. I would imagine, but 
this fight is not going to make 100 million. I know T Wilder or Wilder um, himself is kind of hoping that it does. In their ideal world, if it makes 70 million or more, then that's a bonus. Because then Wilder gets more money than the 12 and a half million that he was offered, right? But technically he wouldn't, even then. Because if it made 70 million, then Joshua is guaranteed 50 million plus 50%. So he would get 10 million extra. Wilder will only get 10 million. So really, you know, this fight really does have to make 80 to 90 million for Wilder to get more money than what he's being offered. Or maybe he's willing to take less than the 12 and a half as long as he can have it on his terms, as in there is no rematch, as in there is not going to be a fight in London. It's going to be in Vegas. It's going to be in Alabama. It could be anywhere. But they're, they're making a bit of a risk because the pay-per-view in the UK may take a bit of a hit. Having a fight at four, five o'clock in the morning is not an ideal situation for the UK fans. UK fans are the ones who pay for Anthony Joshua's career. They've been funding it, right? On top of sponsors, of course. But Wilder has never been pay-per-view. His highest ever purse was 2.1 million against Luis Ortiz. So who in their right mind is willing to pay 50 plus million? Who's, who in their right mind is gonna do that? It's a ridiculous gamble. It, it really is a ridiculous gamble. And for me, I believe that Tim Wilder are banking on Joshua having some common sense. Where they go, okay, fine. We'll take the fight. Where's it gonna be? Do you have the money? Prove you've got the money. Oh, well, sorry, no, no, it was a 24 hour offer. That's it, fights off. Hey, listen, we tried. And you know his brain dead fans are gonna go, see, he offered, he should have took it. Because these guys don't have any kind of noodle between their ears. They really don't. Um, they just want a moral victory, that's all they want. Even though it's ridiculous, because no deal is ever done that way. But either way, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. But it is fishy though, isn't it? that they were supposed to have a meeting today, Thursday, while Eddie Hearn is over in New York, and they changed it to Friday. Tim Wilder changed it, said, yeah, sorry, we can't make it. But Eddie Hearn went, okay, then, so we'll meet up on Friday. So then Tim Wilder come in with the offer. Basically, Joshua has to accept it, while his promoter, Eddie Hearn, is in a different country and you have to accept it before we have a meeting. It don't seem right to me. I th I, I'm seeing this as some kind of duck from Deontay Wilder with the intention of making it look like he tried to make the fight when he, nobody knows if he's got the money. Nobody knows. For me, it's unlikely. I mean, I'd, I cannot see this fight doing more than between 50 and 60 million. I can't see it happening. I cannot see it happening. They're banking on Floyd Mayweather fans doing the pay-per-view, you know? Deontay Wilder is not pay-per-view. People, people in his own country are, don't warm to him. For whatever reason it may be, they don't warm to him. So it's a risk of putting him on pay-per-view. But hey, if he can legitimately get the 50 million, right? Screw the rematch. You know, screw, um, screw when it is. If you're going to be at the end of the year, then it's the end of the year. If you want it in Vegas, we'll do it in Vegas. Not a problem, but can you give us the money? That's the most important. Can you give us the money? We don't want to hear, well, yeah, um, you know, hey, listen, right? We offered you 50 million. We didn't say we're going to give it to you all in cash. Like right now, we're going to pay you over the next 10 years at 5 million a year. Do you know what I mean? They, they'll do some kind of stupid lowball or yes, yeah, so you get 50 million if we can raise it. No, no, no. Do you have 50 million or do you not? Eddie Hearn has the funds to put on the show. Does Team Wilder? I don't believe for a second that they do. I really, really don't. Where's he getting this 50 million from? Maybe there is no 50 million. Maybe he's just seeing if Joshua's serious. Maybe. Maybe he's moving, uh, he, he's doing some kind of power move because he knows his brain dead fans are going to go, yeah, see, he tried. He offered him 50 million. Joshua said he wanted 50 million. Yeah, but it's not as straightforward as that, is it? Use your noodle. It's not as straightforward as that. But, who knows?
Maybe this is one hell of a power move and Tim Wilder are legitimate. There is literally 50 million. But personally, this fight is not going to happen next. Wilder's going to take on Brazil. We know this. And I want to talk about that one in a minute. So anyway, drop your thoughts below. Click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you next video.